Hey everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at a highly sought after 2016 holiday time toy, electronic device type thing made by Nintendo. And no, it's not the NES Mini since I couldn't get my hands on it, but I did get my hands on one of these the Famicom Mini, I guess, or Family Computer Mini, I think is what it, the uh, official name is, maybe. Let's uh, take a look at this thing here. There's the front of the box. Pretty excited to use this thing here. The top of it. One side, there's the other side, bottom, back. Showing you all the games in Japanese, so I can't read them. You get a few Mario games, some Donkey Kong, Ice Climber, a Sight Bike. You get some Rockman or Mega Man, Kirby, eh, Pac Man, Balloon Fight, Golf, Ninja Gaiden. Gaiden. Let's crack this baby open. Do a quick unboxing here. Some paperwork here. Everything's in Japanese, so I'm not even gonna look at that. Set that aside for right now. And some different cables that I don't need. I can use other cables for now. Okay, so here's the system. Take it out of its little. Oh wow, this thing is small. Wow. You got your front there. I don't think any of this really comes out or anything. And there's the side. And the controllers are hardwired in. Power, HDMI. There's the bottom of it. Yeah, let's take a look at the tiny ass controllers. Holy cow, look at this thing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Boy, I heard they were small, but jeez. That is tiny. I think it feels good. Let me go get a regular Nintendo controller. Do a size comparison. There's a regular Nintendo controller. Nice big and look at this. Holy cow. It is miniature. You can almost fit two of them in there. Two for the price of one. Huh. Well, we'll see how comfortable it is after a few minutes of playing here. See how big, how long the cords are here. So not too bad. Probably about the same same length as the NES American version. So controller one. Wow, tiny. All right, let's hook this thing up. Get some gameplay going. Oh, and nice cool little feature here. They uh, sticking right into the side there. So there you go. Nice little package there. And also, this didn't come with an uh, AC adapter, so what I'm going to use is just this Motorola uh, uh, USB adapter that I got with a phone at some point. So, see if this works. Okay, I'm at here at my computer setup here. I'm going to just use my computer monitor for this. So, first things first is, we'll hook up the HDMI cable here. Do that there. And what I'm going to do is find the... USB cable that I just found. Oh, it's on the ground. What I'm going to try doing is plug it into my keyboard and see if that works. So I got a little port on the back of my keyboard over here. Back in, back here. So we'll just plug it in. Switch over to HDMI. Power it on. Does it work? Oh yeah. And there it is. That crappy sound is coming out of my monitor, so... All right, so let's take controller number one, right there. And it's really small. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Let's go to the beginning. We already took a look at some of the games, but there's Ice Climber. I'll give that a shot real quick here. Come on, we'll get up there. Ah. Damn it. Jesus. I suck at this game. I tell you, this looks really good. Emulation's pretty spot on. Got 
Oh, god damn. Oh boy. Okay, so apparently I think you can... You hit the reset button. It takes you back there, and you can actually save your game. This isn't all in Japanese, but pretty straightforward here. So, oops. I don't know what I did there. Okay, so you hit down to get to your saves. Okay, it looks like these... Here's some settings here. Uh... Okay, so yeah, you have your scan lines, 4-3, and I think that's pixel, true pixel or something like that. We'll just leave it right at the 4-3 aspect ratio, and here's settings. I Oh, what is this saying? I don't know. I think what we're going to do is try to translate with Google Translator here. Autoplay demo, that's what the top one says. Automatic shutdown is the next one. Screen and burn and reduction. Those are those settings, I think. That's what Google Translator is telling me, anyways. These must be manuals and maybe a help, but I don't think we really need any of those. Let's take a look at some Castlevania here. I'm not noticing any kind of a lag right now. Although I'm using a computer monitor, so response time is going to be a lot better than uh, a TV. Most TVs, anyways. And any TV that I have, it's a lot better. Oh, yeah, look at that. What a shot. So that's that one. So what I can do, hit the pause button. That's the pause button on the, well, reset button, not the pause button. But you hit this button right here, and it takes back to the menu. And you can just do a, a save right from here. So I'll do that. Save to A. And you can lock it or unlock it. I don't know what. What does select do? Oh, you can move it. Okay, start. It starts it. Okay. Hit the reset button on the system. I don't know how do you actually delete. Is it B? No, yeah, that's a copy. Maybe. Oh, I guess if you want to get rid of it, you just overwrite it. I don't know. There might be a way to delete. I need to try a game that I don't know what it is here. I saw one back here. One of these. Try this one. What the hell? That bat is shitting on me. Okay, that's enough of this one. I'm try this one. Yay, or something or other. I couldn't read it. Fighting Wang. Die, Wang, die. Yeah! Whoa! He's spitting fire! What the fuck? Yeah, take that. Tao. Oh, Tao's going down. Oh, God. Oh, you can jump, okay. Oh, this is real fair. Freaking reached on this guy. Ah! Chen got me. Is there a way to block? I'll tell you, my left thumb here is starting to get a little, a little fatigued here. Nope. Game over.
Okay, this looks like Excite Bike, Galaga, Gradius, some Contra. Check out Contra here. Or Super C. I'll tell you, it's really kind of hard to do diagonals with this D pad without ripping your th thumb muscles. Spread. So far the control hasn't gotten in the way of my skills here. So that's a good sign. I haven't died yet. True test coming up. Tell you these uh, A and B buttons really work good. Come on, yeah. So I guess the D-pad isn't as bad as what I'm initially thinking here, but it is kind of hard to do some rolls and things. I mean, it is—it's tiny. It is really tiny. I'm gonna reset this and I'm gonna save my game here. Save it. And let's see what else we got. A couple Mario games. Everybody's seen those. We'll do a real quick test of this one here. Okay, Mario Brothers. Super Mario 1. Everybody's seen it. Everybody loves it. Okay. Good enough. Everybody's seen that one. Mario Brothers 3, once again. Super Mario USA, which is just Super Mario Brothers 2 here in the U.S. I was kind of hoping they would have the actual Japanese Super Mario Brothers 2 on here, but that's not the case. It looks like Zelda. I'm not sure what this one is. Some sort of dungeon crawler type thing, it looks like. Or, well, maybe not. Okay. Okay, press up to jump. Oh, okay, I think I've played some sort of type of game like this. It's like a puzzle platformer type of thing. This will probably be pretty fun. Try another level here. Can I? Oh, I have no. Mm -mm. Okay. Got to get used to it here. Oh, damn it. I think I might know how to get rid of them. Maybe. Try one more time here. Before I embarrass myself too much. Nope. Okay. Game over. That's enough of that one. And try this one. Oh boy. Okay. This looks like you might need to know Japanese. River City Ransom? I have no idea. I just threw something. How do I jump? I don't get this. Try. Technos Japan Corp presents game. Looks like the same type of game here. Okay, beat him up. This is a little more uh, straightforward. Cool. I'm liking it. Yeah, all right. I'm into it. Let's get this coin. Beat this guy. Piece of shit, get out of here. Yeah. 
die. Alright, I like that one. It's, uh, Double Dragon, uh, maybe a, some sumo wrestling thing, Dr. Mario, Donkey Kong. I'm thinking that's just regular Donkey Kong. Yep. Gah. Next, Dr. Mario. Everybody's seen it. Again, this is Shinobi, maybe? 1988. I think this is Shinobi. That's that one. That looks like Balloon Fight, Pac-Man. No idea. Try it out. Okay. Try eight. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. How do I end? Start. Okay, I'm done. I don't want to put any more in. Looks like you might need to know Japanese for this one here. Yeah, it looks RPG of some sort. Okay, well, game I won't be playing. We got Kirby, Ghosts and Goblins, Golf, Regular Mario Bros, Metroid, Legend of Zelda 2, and there's some Mega Man, Ice Climber. So, that's that's pretty much it. We got 30 pretty good games. I mean, there was a couple in there that had a language barrier, I think. But other than that, not too bad. If you can't find a NES Classic at a decent price, I know Amazon, the American website, has has them for 100 bucks uh, with Prime shipping. I ended up getting this from Amazon Japan, and I paid paid retail. I ended up looking at the Japanese website at the right time and got it at retail price and came in a week, I think. Definitely a good alternative if you really want that NES Classic, but don't want to shell out the cash right now or whatever. But these controllers, I mean, for as small as they are, they do work pretty good. Uh, it's not as uncomfortable as I thought it would be at, at first, but if you don't mind the small controllers and the Japanese... Uh, oops, what the fuck did I just do? Yeah, anyways, I forgot what I was saying, but... Leave any comments if you got any questions about it. I can dig into it and give you an answer or something. Uh, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Put some comments. Here's the uh, screensaver for it. That was kind of kind of cool. Mario's scaring Luigi away.